The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loop number two in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Warm Atlantic water is defrosting the Arctic as it shoots through the Fram Strait, according to a paper in the January 28, 2011 issue of Science. Extent of Arctic sea ice passed the tipping point in 2007, according to research published in the February 12, 2013 issue of the Cryosphere. On October 6, 2012, Truthout cites Peter Wadhams, professor of ocean physics at Cambridge University, quote, the ice-free Arctic would have a warming effect roughly equivalent to all human activity to date. In other words, a summer ice-free Arctic would double the rate of warming of the planet as a whole. End quote. Subsequent melting of Arctic ice is reducing albedo, hence enhancing absorption of solar energy. According to NASA on December 17, 2014, quote, the rate of absorbed solar radiation in the Arctic in June, July, and August has increased by 5% end quote, since 2000. Quote, Average globally, this albedo change is equivalent to 25% of the direct forcing from CO2 during the past 30 years, end quote, according to research published in the February 17, 2014 issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Destabilization of the deep circulation of the Atlantic Ocean may be, quote, spasmodic and abrupt, abrupt rather than a more gradual increase, end quote, as earlier expected, according to a paper published in the February 21st, 2014 issue of Science. Models continue to underestimate results relative to observations, as reported in the March 10th, 2014 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. Consider, for example, the thinning, quote, by more than 50 meters since 2012, about one-sixth of its original thickness, and that is now flowing 25 times faster, end quote, as reported in the December 23, 2014 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. Rapid ice melt in the region is explained by a product of warm air advection, air mass transformation, and fog in the June 10, 2015 issue of Geophysical Research Letters.